That's just the THX logo. Weird. What up? What up? YouTube, YouTube. What up, Are what we, up? Are we, are we on? on? I bet we're not even on. No, Sam's just one of Sam's Sam's just trying to be loud. Pranks. We're not even on. Classic prank. I pranked you. We're not even we got, on. We got what I call Sam. I don't believe yeah. it. Uh, but, we uh, before on. we go on, what is See? what Told is you. something we don't want to talk about while we're on? Oh, those dick wart things I told you guys that I found in the shower just now. Like the green ones? Don't mention that. Okay, we will not mention that. Don't and mention my green dick warts. Look, where where you did you are, get you, the green dick warts? I don't know. Just, you know, uh, I was cleaning out the From your garage. hand? Yeah. No. Well, you know, so there's all this Play-Doh that my kid doesn't play with anymore. And it was warm in the garage. It was moist. <laughs> Aaron, thank yeah. you for that. That's the worst word. And I, you deployed it. <laughs> I think it's already time to turn off the emote wall. <laughs> the moist. Moist. What a terrible moist. word. Moist play though. Timmy sounds very tinny. Okay. I think it's good. I think it's exactly what it needs to be. It's You're a right. perfect word. I mean, it's necessary because sometimes things are moist and you got to describe them that way. I feel like someone, <laughs> some like... You know, I, I know this word's been around forever, but I like to think that, like, you know, maybe there, maybe there is a heaven, and there isn't, but maybe there is. Uh, Hold on, I'm it, gonna try and make my voice sound better. I'll be right back. Maybe I'm there, though. Maybe there is a heaven, and there's whoever invented the word moist to describe a a nice moist. A nice moist day is up in heaven hearing people talk about their moist vaginas going, No! That's not what I wanted! <laughs> ah, they're ruining it! This oh, was a man. perfectly good word, and they're hey, fucking Zach's ruining it. Zach's here. Okay. Yo! What's up, dude? Hey, buddy. Anyway, I gotta... Sam, will, you, will you text me the token? Hold on. I, I got other stuff, Are man. we on? Yeah, we're on. Yeah. Whoa, what's up, everybody? We just we just went on. Ah, okay. Um, we're Apparently. trying to figure out like a we're trying to figure out a sexy way to say moist. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Timmy's got it down. It's more yeah. of a that's more of a dick descriptor, isn't it? <laughs> moist. My dick is moist. no hard. Oh oh oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were saying moist to describe an erection. Well, oh. uh, my, I got my the, dick is so wet. I got the Moisture. dampest, dampest erection in town. <laughs> damp? Wait, are you guys saying that erections can be moist or damp? Because that doesn't sound right either way. Oh, that does not sound right. That's like <laughs> uh, a boring person commenting on comedy. Oh, shut the comedy. fuck up. All oh, right, that, well, this... That sounds so wrong. It was good to see you guys. <laughs> I'll see you later. Uh, I, that wasn't directed at you, Timmy. I'm gone. This just a sloth. Did I offend Timmy? Timmy, took, t Timmy did you I, take something personally? No, of course not. four minutes in and you took something personally? No, of course not. It's called playing along. Fucking read a book. How are Wait, you doing? Now are you taking something personally? <laughs> no, I'm just continuing to be a little shit. That's all there is. Look at all the. Oh, fart now you are. Wow. All right. You know what, Darren? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, are you gonna text me the code? Uh, oh yeah, well, yeah. No, I'll text. What you code? There. What do you need a code? What kind of codes? What do you got? The token, so I can see chat and all this stuff. Oh, I mean, how are you guys? This whole time I was waiting for you to text me a token and you were doing what? 
I he was, was, he was setting out the setting up the layout and making sure everything looked okay. Wow, that's bullshit. Man, welcome to our last stream, everybody. Yeah, it's the finale. It's not. <laughs> it's just the so okay. finale. We're sick of this shit. Yeah, sick of each other. We're not finale. sick of we're not sick of you, uh, Horror Town. Zach, oh, check if you're using the good mic. We were uh, unable to verify your two-factor authentication code. Try again. Do I, uh, hey, chat, do I sound okay now? Because I changed up my whole setup because they were complaining. Did you do hear I that, Zach? Okay People want to know if you're using the good mic. I'm not. I will as soon as I get my fucking verification code. So we are at, and is that what you call an impasse? It's, it's, it's not that you're yelling at me. It's that you're yelling at me, and it sounds awful. <laughs> Hey, there's already a good dono. There's a couple donos I want to get to. There is one when I streamed the other night that I missed, Hyphenpotamus in the city, so thank you. And then Nicole Phillips uh, donated right before Aww. we started. Huh? Nicole Nicole takes my class. Oh. So she Sweet. donated 100 bucks and said she was wow. supporting. She was, uh, thank you very much. She says she wants to support me playing Disco Elysium, which is a fun <laughs> game. I'll do it more. And also Sam singing is a gift to us all, is what she said. So <laughs> thank you, Nicole. And uh, maybe check in with your audiologist. How's your everybody aud- doing? Your audiologist? Yeah, like a hearing doctor. Oh. She said you're good at singing. It was a little bit of a razz, oh, Sam. It, that's sometimes a little bit we, of a razz. Sometimes we do a little bit of a razzle-dazzle. I always thought that was called an earthologist. <laughs> Wait, it's not, why don't they just call it that? Earthologist? Thol- I, I think there's an N in there. Audiologist sounds like a guy. Then, audiologist sounds like he's going to hook up your stereo. You yeah. Know? It's like, mm-hmm. to me, it's like Geek Squad, audiologist, same thing. Right? So. You know who is a cool dude? You guys want to know who is a cool dude? That you guy. Two pair of glasses. That guy in the RCA ads who's sitting in that chair, and he had his. In the logo with that. Yeah. That guy. Yeah, yeah. that guy was chill. Mac- that's Maxwell. RCA's the dog. Oh, Maxwell. I thought oh. you. I thought you knew his name. Yeah, I know that guy, Larry. He's great, Larry. Maxwell. No, no, Maxwell. Yeah, <laughs> that's Maxwell. <laughs> He's great. I gotta turn Zach, on. Do you know what the fuck they're here. talking about? I, don't I have even, no idea what they're talking about. I don't yeah, even know. I, what we're no, I'm zoned about. out, dude. You this ever, is bullshit. You ever buy? Oh, a- <laughs> looks like someone can't find their fucking skip token. Hey. Yeah, where oh, is my yeah. skip token? Where is my? Skip I, I never, I never mailed Darren his. I'm sorry, Darren. I need to send you some, or don't I? I'm gonna turn on the air. It's like a hundred degrees here today. Fucking bullshit. What's the colors behind Timmy's TV? Is this, is this a flag? This, it's pride. So it's that pride, is, pride, pride flag? That's that's not a TV, and uh, the TV is over on the side. The black thing. Oh, the, oh, you were talking about the TV. Okay, the black thing's a blanket. The color. I was yeah. talking about the the black thing. I thought it was a TV. You you did. Okay, but the TV. What, what a fucking idiot. The yep. TV's the TV. <laughs> Let me explain. That is my window, and at this time of day, the sun comes right in, and it's just like a giant bright thing. So I put up this black blanket, but then also it's not long enough, so I put up my kid's uh, tumbling mat. So that is a tumbling mat, but she wanted it in pride colors because she's super chill. So so it is sort of a pride But color. it's not really pride colors, is it? Uh, I think it might be missing a couple. Kind yeah. of. It's purple, green, yellow. Orange and red. You just can't see the orange on the screen there because the sun's coming in. But no blue. No blue. No blue. Which one is blue? I believe blue is trans people, so well, I guess a- that matters. Yeah, but guess what? She has a separate trans flag, like hanging in her bedroom. So, but that's a separate uh. flag. They have a separate flag. Yeah. I actually made that up. Do the colors actually represent anything specific? I don't. Think I they thought did. they did, but they have separate flags now. So you know. That's, okay. Uh, the trans flag is like light blue. Light pink and light. <laughs> Schwartzy says, "No, blue is cops. Fuck them." Yeah. Oh, the blue line flag. Oh man, I could. I'm sure there's one on a car if I just walk outside. <laughs> blue is Leonardo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude. Hey, they just put out. They just put out a new Turtles video game, but they did it in the style of that old arcade one. Oh and really? 
dude, it Margaret and I got it the other night. It fucking rules. It plays exactly like those old games you play at fucking birthday parties, you know, like at a roller skating rink or whatever. I, Are I'm the gonna, graphics the same? The, the, yeah, the style, the drawing style is a little different, but it's pretty much the same. Like it's. Cool. It's awesome. It's really fun. I'm going to throw it. The I'm, same or are they different? No, they're, it's a new, it's a new story, a new game, but the levels are pretty similar. You know, like the got, first okay. one you fight Bebop. Go ahead, Sam. I'm sorry. I've got a lukewarm take here on those turtle games. Uh, everyone remembers them being so much fun and so great. And I, I, I agree that they were so much fun and so great when you're in the arcade and it mattered when you died. But when they, they had like the emulators and the home versions where you just had unlimited lives, it like it took all the 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 fun out of it. Well, I played one and said it's fun and great. So but um, <laughs> no, but I mean, like, here's the other thing, though, in the new one, you can heal like if your guy falls. You have to wait for a timer to come back. And while the timer is going, they can heal you like in a Borderlands game or something. Your other people can come up and like. Now, what if they die oh. while you're dead? Then, then it, just is it over? Start, yeah, then you got to start over. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. All right. Yeah. That's, All right. Somebody cool. says Mike Patton sings the yes. new Turtles. They do a is new version. True? Yeah. It's the same song, but it's like him. And I don't know if he's got a band with him or what, but yeah, it's uh. but those are it's the same lyrics because those lyrics are. Perfect. Leonardo you know Lee's Donatello for... does machines. What? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I didn't want to interrupt that. Do that again. Raphael is cool but rude. Michelangelo is a party, is a party dude. dude. <laughs> it's the best part. Yeah. <sighs> okay, of all sorry. the theme songs for the cur- for the cartoons that we watched as kids, the one that I feel like sticks with me the most is uh, Gummy Bears. Ah, yeah. here and there and everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's a good you song. That. That's a good song. Is, I remember what the Disney afternoon shows are about, but that one, it's like so... I remember the song, but I know the show. Like, I, what the fuck was that about? I know they were in, like, medieval, right? And they, yeah. like, drank bouncy juice. Also, uh... ch 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 Yeah, dude. That some good times, some crimes. And then, oh, you know, uh, the four of us and Trevor once performed the DuckTales theme live right. on stage. At a oh, Wednesday. yeah, that was oh, yeah. really fun. I was trying to remember the instrumentation. Who played, who played what instruments? I played I piano. Just, you I played piano. bass. Darren, you drummed. Okay. Trevor played guitar. That sounds about right. What did you play, Timmy? I sang it. I was the singer. Oh, you were the, the singer? I was Hell the, yeah, dude. I was the front man. <laughs> <laughs> the front man. The, the, the dangers right behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. Yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah, dude. Cool. That, that was a fun moment for us. We should have uh, become a band. And not done yeah, we had like tech uh, like kill the lights right as soon as we were like DuckTales. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was like, yeah. We did? I think we did, yeah. I think we did. And then, I remember Trevor. He, he, Trevor was like, we are just mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was How like, we played our instruments. Just hey, so, whatever, man. Right. Got like job done. We're a comedy troupe, and we thought we could be a band for a second, so yeah. we did it. Wait, what was the Darkwing Duck theme? Some oh, Rosalind uh, Danklin says Darkwing Duck theme was also a banger. I don't remember the theme, but I loved it. Darkwing that show. Duck, when there's trouble, you call DW. Darkwing Duck, let's get dangerous. Darkwing Duck. Oh, it's kind of a rap. There's a little bit of rapping in it. It's good. The, the, uh, Tailspin had a bunch of rapping in that theme song, too. Spin, let's begin it. And you spin it, spin it, spin it. Whoa. I don't go. remember. So wait, this is an interesting thing. Wolfernator says, Zach is Raphael. Timmy is Donatello. Sam is Michelangelo. And Darren is Leonardo. So that means Darren's like, do I have, I have right? the Darren's the smart one. No, Sam's Donatello's the, the-, the freewheeling. Well, he's got sunglasses Woo! on. So he's, he's the loving bro. Timmy, are you the moody one? No, Donatello's the nerd. Donatello's the purple one that always makes machines. Leonardo leads, Donatello does machines. Raphael, which is you, is cool but rude. Michael oh, yeah. is a party dude. And Sam had a dog. He named it a creature party. So, you know. Cool yeah, but rude. Par- party dog. And there, yeah. there was a fifth turtle they introduced, right? A girl, Venus de Milo. That was only on the live action series. Very short lived and strange. Uh, they did like a Power Ranger style live action turtles. And so they added a lady one, Venus Ooh. de Milo. Which Wait, is weird. Really? Their name, yeah. Weird. 
they're named after artists and she's named after a work of art. So it's kind of like kind of weirdly sexist and strange in a way, you know, like it's weird that like when we were kids, like Ninja Turtles was a thing before we caught on to it. Like Ninja Turtles was this like adult comic book, right? Yeah, that was made to it was making fun. So the original Turtles idea, they didn't have colors. They all wore red uh, masks. And it was made by those two guys, forget their names, uh, Eastman and Laird, specifically to make fun of Frank Miller and his take on Batman and Daredevil and all the whole darker thing that was happening with superheroes at the time. You know, Watchmen, they were like poking fun at all of that uh, with Ninja Turtles. And then I don't know how they made the jump, but they got people interested and they made toys and a cartoon and uh, a, a comic book that was more like that stuff and then the movies and you know whatever so. yeah, yeah when, when somebody when, says remember the turtles out of their shells tour oh, i do remember yes. there's like a Fuck live yeah. action tour yeah. i remember seeing commercials like it's going to be in your town uh, yeah. come see the ninja yeah, turtles like and they were For, a band They're that's a that's together. a funny watch that's a funny like they have I'm turtles sure. out of their shell <laughs> yeah vhs that a friend of mine has and, it, and it's it's entertaining yeah dude so they had instruments and shit and i want to say michelangelo played the guitar that seems accurate but they had like rocker outfits and it's so funny now it comes full circle we talk about groups that were doing something else and decided to be a band so <laughs> They're like, you guys are ninja crime fighting pizza dudes. What do you do to be in a band? <laughs> but like, it's so funny that like, if you were like a, a comic book, a, a, like a 20 year old comic book nerd in the late 80s, there's a good chance you could be very into Ninja Turtles. Then you ha you'd have no idea that it was about to be the biggest children's cartoon. And then like a, a, of all time. a, yeah. a movie. And then back to like another cartoon and another cartoon and then a, yeah. a CG it, and then another yeah. movie. And like, Dude. like it's still going. It is still yeah. just fucking going. It is, is it really the biggest children's cartoon of all time? It's got to be up there. I mean, I mean like, huge. I, you know. Hey. What, what are the other contenders? He-Man? Uh, Garfield Yo, and guys. Friends? I found it. Look, look at this shit. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. They did like the kiss thing. They have yeah. like, the... <laughs> I, oh, I cracked it. I'm cracked it. Yeah, Donatello. Paul Stanley. Donatello is the guitar guy. Raphael gets stuck with a tenor saxophone. <laughs> it's like they don't even have a drummer. They have bass guitar, guitar, and a fucking saxophone. Not even an alto sax. Yeah, dude, come on. Alto's the also, funny one. Actually, tenor is like the classic rock and roll one, but whatever. The colors, yeah. the the colors on those masks look so. It looks like all right. There's one blue turtle and yeah. three red ones. Yeah, dude, because it's like Mikey's yeah. is not orange enough. Yeah, Tello's is just a little too pale. And yeah. Raphael's right on, but yeah, it's very strange. But so, did any of you guys see that when alive or anybody in chat in Horror Town? Have any of you ever seen that live? Because that would be incredible. Somebody's right. gonna say yes, but they 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 didn't. They're liars. Right. Who's, yeah. who's yeah. it gonna be? Who's Someone's gonna, gonna say lie? yes, and their dad works at that office right there. And they're yeah. twenty. <laughs> and they're twenty years old. Yeah. So, so when I met Sam and Trevor, every day one of, of my the, life, <laughs> one of the first conversations I had with Sam and Trevor was about how great it is in the second Ninja Turtles movie when they crash through a wall. And there's vanilla ice there, and we were talking about like, dude, when you're like eleven or however old we are, we were there. Yeah. We we're like, when you're eleven. And it's the Ninja Turtles, and they're fighting these monsters, and then they end up with Vanilla Ice. It's like, oh my god! I was like, yeah, dude. The, like, all they needed was someone to crack a Pepsi, and I would have just like fucking freaked out. We, you know, we, funny uh, is I, I think I was always like a little hipster snob because I remember I was probably like, I don't know how old I was when Vanilla Ice came out, and I uh, remember the first time I saw him, I was like, this is lame. This is stupid. Oh yeah, I never actually uh, liked it, but yeah, like, I, I was. I, not I thought that cool about MC you. Hammer too. When MC Hammer came out, I was like, "This is whack. Like, can't touch this." I was like, <laughs> "Terrible song, not good." I yeah. was, I was yeah. always. I fell for it. I fell yeah. for it hard. I, I was always like, like behind it, like being like, "Oh, you guys, you guys think that's cool? Yeah, yeah, I think it's cool too." Like. <laughs> <laughs> like not knowing what it was, but trying to play off like I did. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it was cool. They know that. <laughs> my, uh, my 
my aunt one time she picked me up from school and I like got in the car and I like had this like piece of notebook paper and it was just like filled with words and she was like what what is that and I was like oh it's it's all the words from this song Ice Ice Baby by <laughs> Vanilla Ice she's like you wrote all the words to the song down on a piece of notebook paper oh my and I was like god yeah <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that, that's the kind of thing I would have done in school yeah. too. Like, yeah. I would have yeah. like written like U2 lyrics down um, and just like verbatim. And I want to get to this in chat real You're quick. Like, Vanilla Ice isn't cool. U2 is cool. U2 is cool. Hey, fuck early hey, 90s. Uh, U2 is way cooler baby. than fucking U2 Vanilla was Ice. cool. Yeah. No, yeah, uh, you're right. Yeah. But so this, these are, chat has some responses to Zach uh, not liking Vanilla Ice. Someone says, this guy's a narc. Someone says, wow, Zach. And someone says, uh, don't be racist. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. <laughs> hey, he, he also said he didn't like MC Pretty Hammer, good. so he's he's yeah. all he's across the board. He just doesn't like glittery rappers. It's fine. Now, Timmy, do you guys you know? Are, sorry. You have a bunch of floaty shit. Yeah, it's that, your a, face. it's that emote thing. I can turn it off. Um, oh, so, I mean, do you guys know about. Do you, so, here's the thing with Vanilla Ice. It's funny. So, he came out and he was like, yeah, the whole dancey Vanilla Ice. Sh that with the haircut and the glittery clothes, right? And then, like, in the mid to late '90s, when when rap started, you know, more gangster rap and Dr. Dre talking about weed all the time. Then Vanilla Ice put out a new album with like longer hair, maybe even dreadlocks, and it was called like Vanilla Ice Mind Blowing. And he had like like a starter jacket on, like you know, like trying to be uh -huh. like a pot rap. And then in like the mid uh, 2000s, he tried to get in on that rap rock, angry kind of shit. Like Limp Biscuit. I remember that and stuff. Yes. Yeah, when so I worked at Tower, like he fucking, had a CD come out. Yeah, with that. exactly. Yeah. Wow. He, had, he had the fucking thing and the the the, ba the baseball cap and all the all that. During stuff. during that period, did he like? I feel like he either raced dirt bikes, which makes sense. But this is this is crazy, and maybe this I'm just making this this up. Did he race jet skis? Uh, I'm on a computer. <laughs> Let's find out. What's he his real it? name? Is it Paul? It's something Rob, Von. Rob Van Winkle. Oh yeah, Von. <laughs> Rob Van Winkle. No wonder he fucking went with Vanilla Ice. Because for a silly name that is, it's way cooler than Rob Van Winkle. <laughs> Remember uh, Snow? Yeah, dude. Yeah. 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 Remember Crisscross? <laughs> yeah, dude. Do you do you remember what Trevor Sing did it, with? Timmy. Sing okay. it. Sing it. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Krause will make a jump, jump. Daddy Mac will make a jump, jump. But do you guys, Sam or Zach, do you guys remember what Trevor did with Chris Cross lyrics in his office at Imagination? No. Okay, no. so he he printed out this like framed thing that he had in his office at Imagination. It was a picture of Tupac, like looking really soulful and like with his hands like this and it had lyrics on it. And at the bottom it said Tupac Shakur. And the lyrics are written out cursive. And if you just walk by, you're like, oh, there's like a, he just must have bought a silly like Tupac thing off a, a booth on the street or something. But if you read the lyrics, it was uh, it's from Crisscross Jump. And it's like saying all this dumb bullshit. And it ends with like, it's we get a we get a whack. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I walked by like 10 times because we used to like have meetings over at the uh, there and stuff. So I'd be there every once in a while. And I walked by, you know, would be in his office a, a bunch. And then finally one day I'm like, I read it. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> no one ever caught out of that. It was so brilliant. Well, Trevor really liked to have little inside pranks that, like, you may or may not ever get wise to. Like, he for a long time his Wi-Fi was called uh, "There Is No Wi-Fi." So you'd be like, Trevor, what's the Wi-Fi? I'd be like, there is no Wi-Fi. You'd be like, there's no Wi-Fi. Like, you gotta have Wi-Fi. I'd be like, I do. You'd be like, well, what is it? He goes, there is no Wi-Fi. I'd be like, Trevor, what? What the fuck? And then you realize, oh, it's called "There Is No Wi-Fi." And then you'd be like, okay. What's the password? And he goes, it shouldn't ask for a password. Uh, <laughs> Which is the password is it, it shouldn't ask for a password. What an asshole. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is, is that like, like he did that and it's, it, it's like, that's like the, the, how the joke goes is, is that goes down. But like, it never went when, down that when, way. When Zach and I know Trevor, it's like, we're like, what's the Wi-Fi? There is no Wi-Fi. And we're like, all right, cool. Got uh, it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, what's the password? It shouldn't what's ask for one. Got is it. Is that Thank capital you. I? Uh, but yeah. like, but Leela, Leela, I guess, fell for it so hard, which makes yeah. like, that was like the perfect audience for that. So, yeah. 
Vanilla ice. Look at that. Vanilla ice was the best jet ski, sixth best jet ski racer in the world. Yeah, out of seven. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, how do they tell that? How? Who's they have a race. Six? They have a race. He plays sixth. Yeah, how does anybody so actually know who's like the fastest? Like that seems weird. Yeah, I'm sure he, he probably said it, and someone just backed it up. Like, yeah. <laughs> um. Oh my. Aaron, God. where are you? Are you in London? Yeah, I'm in London. Cool. Cool. That's really cool. 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 Um. Okay. Let me. Uh... How's Brexit going? <laughs> <laughs> going all right <laughs> do people still cool, talk about cool. brexit like i can't believe we did that or is it just like okay yeah i think now it's like who cares but apparently like when it was happening everyone was like this is the end we're fucked um, well, why'd they fucking vote for it i don't know they feel like they got duped they they were told everything's gonna be better but apparently, like, for a long time, like, shipping, like, into the country and shit like that, like, was, you know, the empty shelves and the, the markets and stuff. Um, but we didn't see any of that stuff. We came after. Where did the, the thing go? Damn it. What, your emotes? <laughs> yeah, I, I found a thing to show you. I found a, I was doing some research on what we're talking about, and I don't know where the picture oh, that it's downloaded. Timmy, I I was yes, watching uh, Forensic Files the other day, and there was a woman on Forensic Files who's like, <laughs> her sister got killed or something, who looked <laughs> hilarious. That's Exi really funny. She was so funny, dude. No, she, looked <laughs> she got killed in the funniest way. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I just fucking like you. Wait, can you guys do this? She broke up with her boyfriend, and then he stabbed her in the face. <laughs> Oh, I, I can see it. Dude, even from the blurriness. Yeah, yeah I'm trying I to get it. it to focus. Yeah, yeah, I see uh, it. I was, uh, you know what's funny is like, because the other day I just tweeted about this because it happened so much. I said, hey, if anyone, it, it I see it. That's, uh, that's pretty it, close. That was last time I saw my sister. Cut. That was great. That was great. You know who you look like? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever, you ever watch oh, IFC? Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the reddit you know the whitest kids reddit there's a lot going on there but at least once a week someone sees either some dumb guy but it's j either a british guy or some ugly lady and they always say like look i found timmy and it's like i feel like it happens a lot on there lately and it's like i get it i look like everyone who's horrible <laughs> <laughs> you see what you no. want to see yeah yeah Maybe they do. Yeah, but this lady really looks like you. No, I, yeah, just, yeah. Just from the from the low res that I saw, I agree. Yeah. Do you, do do you know what this? Do you know what she looks like? <laughs> she looks like uh, Timmy as like the in the Marie Antoinette sketch where oh, he gets his head yeah. cut off. She looks like that. <laughs> wow, you really picked a good still. I'm too. sorry. She's she's. Yeah. Like this is like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I I bet I have a wig somewhere I could find it. Um, uh, that looks so much uh, better when you blew it up. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I wanna. Couldn't. I hope that lady doesn't watch Twitch. <laughs> oh, she let me just be flattered. I'll let say me, it. I'll say it. I take. She should be flattered. Oh, uh, yeah, but I mean, like, now, like, come on. <laughs> no. What if she's like, oh man, I'm still like really upset about my sister. Let me turn on some Twitch. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, look at she's, this, you guys. Oh, someone said she's a huge whitest kids fan. Well, oh, then she no. should be oh. thrilled. No, I guess I, I was offended because I thought it was a fat joke. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's this, and I'm really happy with it. Look at his face. Wow. Do you think that if we really put our minds to it, we could get Vanilla Ice to be a guest on this stream? I mean, yeah, what is he, what's he doing? I know we could. I know that we could. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. only problem is I think it would be uncomfortable and boring if we did get it. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, cool. So what's up, man? He'd be like, working on a new album. And we'd be like, okay, cool, cool. Hey, Zach, would it be mean? Zach, right. oh, just oh. so you know, just so you know, your mic's a little hot. 
Like it's Fuck like turned it up because people were complaining about. It. Right, well, well no, it's it's, it's just that the it's fuzzy because it's hitting its ceiling. Right, turn it back down. Listen that sounds up, great. That sounds great. Listen up, Sam. Stop. This is important. Sam, shut the fuck up. Vanilla mm. ice. So good. Shut the fuck up. Vanilla ice is on tour. Yeah, he could come on and promote his tour. Yeah, dude. Plus, yeah. Get, check this shit out. He's coming to. He's too falls. busy for us guys. But you know what he, would be great is we get him on, and as soon as he gets South on, we're like we did it, and then we just kick him right off. <laughs> That'd be great. Hey, he's coming to listen to this. Okay, he's on the I Love the '90s tour. He's coming to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, August fifth. Okay, and then the I Love the '90s tour is coming back to Sioux Falls, South Dakota a month later. <laughs> that... It does make a lot of sense that he would be big in South Dakota. Yeah, totally, dude. He played the state fair here when he was big. Like as he was getting big, he played the state fair because it used to be you play the state fair when you're doing well. Now it's like you play the state fair. You know, on the way down. You need some help. Yeah, exactly. You play the state fair hope, hoping someone like sponsors you. I don't even <laughs> think California has a state fair. That they do. It'd be weird. They have to. It'd be no weird because it's so big. There must be a couple different ones. I gotta I find it. There's I so much imagine. farming. It, I think that real states don't have fairs, like a state I, fair. No, what? lots of good states have fairs. No, not good states. Yeah, dude, Minnesota is a great state. They have a state fair. Uh, Wisconsin, Texas, Proud, Texas State Fair is like a famous fair. For, I know for people say like the great state of Minnesota, but that's just like a saying. It doesn't. No, Minnesota mean rules, man. Minneapolis is great. Northern Minnesota is cool. I'm going actually next week or two weeks. I'm going to see. Finally, I've wanted to see this forever. I'm going to see the biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. Exactly. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Token. Oh, shut the I'm fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Skip. Timmy. That sucks. Skip. Yeah, Timmy, I'm sorry you have to deal with that. <laughs> Dude, God. There is a uh, there is a California State Fair, and there's a corn dog eating contest there. So I guess I stand corrected. Yeah. I live in a shithole. Of course. So um, I wanna I wanna ask something else then. So what do you guys have against fucking enjoying yourself? That's what I want to know. Like people want to go eat a corn dog outside. Who gives a shit? I don't, don't want to live, Timmy. Listen to me. I don't want to live in a community where we have competitive corn dog eating contests. Okay, I'm I'm better than that. Then you need to leave the planet because that <laughs> shit is happening everywhere, buddy. People love that kind of stuff. Timmy, what do I, I have, have to say? I've my, never my been problem? to a corn dog eating contest. But did you ever I go to the hot dog eating it. contest? Did you ever go to the hot dog eating contest at Coney Island? Oh, it's it's really fun to watch those guys do that. It's really weird. It's, I mean, it's a weird thing to do. Eat a whole bunch of that stuff really fast. You know? Everyone competing in that contest, even in New York, is from South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> no, the best guy was from Japan. And when he got kicked out of the hot dog eating contest, he held like, I don't know what he did, but they said you can't compete anymore. Still on July 4th, he would have his own in New York. He'd like get a couple press people there and he'd go on some rooftop in New York and like, like just eat a bunch of hot dogs while the real contest was going on. <laughs> They'd be like, stop, stop. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Cause he's Dude. like, fuck you guys. You know, I'm better than you. So I'm going to like, you anyways. can't stop me from eating hot dogs. Yeah, He's so fucking petty and like weird. And, th and then like he would beat the time cause he was the best, but I can't remember why they kicked him off the major league eating I, uh, I, association. I love but yeah. I love the the palpable ab admiration you have for a guy who goes up on a rooftop and eats a bunch of hot dogs. <laughs> oh, but I, I don't have admiration for him. I think it's a strange and petty thing to do. But I have um, admiration for him. Yeah, I have admiration, yeah. not that he eats the hot dogs, but that he goes there and does it in yeah. the face of the actual. Yeah, exactly. I love that. But he's just like, fuck you guys. It's like, this is what he's going to do with his, his day yeah. on 4th of July. He's like, I'm from Japan. We don't have a 4th of July. Fuck yeah. you. I'm going to fly to New York. I'm yeah. going to stand on a rooftop. And just like point my fucking derision like, at Cody you know Island. that like yeah the person who eats the most hot dogs on this block is right here you yeah know? fuck yeah. you guys <laughs> it's like uh, Joey Chestnut you might be the best on Coney Island today but I'm the best in New York you piece of shit <laughs> Crank, cranky old dude just raided with a party of ten hey wow, cranky thank you cranky oh thank you I like that was a good rhyme Zach thank you cranky. Um, who is yeah. someone says who is going to go see Vanilla Ice? Well, I think of a if you're on a '90s tour, there must be other. Timmy, I, I yeah, who, who else is who else is going to be on there? Oh, dude. I mean, okay, 
If uh, you're tone if, look, cranberries, tone look. No, it's all rap. I would love to see the cranberries. <laughs> cranberries is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cranberries are pretty good. Yeah, but uh, their lead singer's dead. So. Oh, know. that's right. She died. Fuck, I forgot. She, she died. died. How she yeah, died? Yeah, she died. Uh, I forget how she died. I don't know. Uh, anyway, who here's who's on the Isle of the 90s tour? Vanilla Ice, uh, Toad Loke. Remember the wild thing. Uh, Tret Tretch from Naughty by Nature. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just Tretch though. And then Young MC and DJ Cool. And then he's also doing a couple shows with Too Short. <laughs> this is a terrible tour. Uh, yeah. Oh my yeah. god, this yeah, is not good. Like, it, it's all. It's like. <laughs> Uh, it's just the, it's the rap music that like good rappers must be like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You oh, know, man. it's like I imagine like the green room is just like four crusty the clowns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. You wanna you wanna know what the green room is? Darren. Yes. <laughs> you wanna know you know wanna know what the green room on the Isle of the 90s tour is? Here, everybody pick up your phones. It's this? That's, yeah, it's just four dudes just <laughs> Like I drinking bet. seltzer water. <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking you, old. They're like fifty-seven years old. You know, like, yeah, yeah. You know, they're not cool. That's a pretty. That's a pretty good place to get COVID. That concert. <laughs> I bet, like in in South Dakota. Yeah. There, yeah, dude. You're you're gonna get picked on if you wear a mask there. Oh yeah. Well yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, I get I get looks. I'm the only one wearing a mask in the grocery store most of the time. It's like it's so fucking annoying. Um, but yeah, no, it, it, there's a new thing now though in South Dakota. When there's a, a big event like that, Christy Nome goes to the event with a tube of COVID and just pumps it on people <laughs> as best she can. She's like, This isn't do real. You, are it's all fine. of you are all of you do you all still wear masks at the grocery store? No. No. I, I, I do. Mean, it's like it's completely stopped here. Nobody. Wears I do at the grocery London. store. If I run into a little store and grab something, I don't always. But I do at the grocery store. And like, if I'm going to be in a place, well, yeah. So the, at the movie yeah. theater, like my daughter and I to go see a movie tomorrow. Like, if so, I just said, like, we wear them in, and then I say, hey, if anybody sits close enough, you know, we'll we'll put them, we'll keep them on. But if there's no one around us, which generally, what movie did you go see? Well, we went and saw the bad guys. But tomorrow, no, we're going to go tomorrow. We're going to go see uh, Light uh, Lightyear, the Pixar. Ah. Ooh. It's a Father's Day thing. Every Father's Day, it's so weird. Every Father's Day, we would go mini golfing and go see a Pixar movie because Pixar movies have historically always come out on Father's Day Isn't that, or a Father's no, Day weekend. But you weird? were you were upset that they were doing that because of the, the two mothers thing, right? <laughs> you were like, they're going to take fathers <laughs> out of this movie? That's You, you texted me that. <laughs> <laughs> That's at least what the, the ghost of Trevor told me. Uh, but I was gonna say Trevor was <laughs> Trevor was an expert at uh, at, at fake right wing Timmy. Um, yeah, but isn't that a so, thing though that like the Disney, Disney movies they like they hate they hate moms. <laughs> like all the Disney movies since the beginning of right. time, they just like hate mothers. Well, They're like parents. the mother is dead. Yeah. We don't want the mother involved in this movie. We just want the dad. Well, di- like Disney you can just go through are, every single one. It's the same. Well, a lot of the times both parents are dead or the kid's an orphan or something, you know, but uh, but yeah, they're always killing off moms or the mom is mean because isn't uh, like the evil. Well, that's a stepmother, the, the evil stepmother from mm-hmm. Cinderella and Snow White's. That's an evil stepmother and it's Sleeping Beauty. I think so, too. Anyways, super cool. Did you guys? Did you guys know? I, oh yeah. Well, Darren and I know about princess movies because you know, so it's fine. Did your yeah, girls go I'll, through a Disney princess? Jasmine, phase? Jasmine? Jasmine, Aladdin. She didn't have a, no mom. Well, that's Lion right. Her King. her dad. She had like two lines. Did Lion King? Did he have a mom? Did Simba have a mom? Yes, he did. She had like yeah, two lines. That's it. Yeah. They, yeah. It's all about the dad. Yeah. The mom. The dad died in the kid's like i'm out the mom's like what about me like, he's like yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> you can go, you can go ahead and be kept a sex slave by my uncle <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens in lion king right that's what scar is doing he's keeping her as a walt disney Anyways. killed his mother get the fuck out of here that's abby Sally said walt disney felt guilty that he killed his mother so that's why anything that chat says i believe so i mean they're normally right about everything yeah. That's so, not what you said before we got came on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
so how's how are you guys doing? Z- Zach, okay, last time we were on, Zach's uh, movie release date got got announced. So Sam Adair, did you know that this movie's coming out soon? August twelfth. Yeah. August twelfth. Yeah, man. Sweet. Now, will Dude, we'll, that's awesome. When will Darren get your movie? I don't know. I I would imagine probably that day, but I don't I don't know. I think yeah. sometimes sometimes like I remember for big huge movies that Britain gets it before sometimes so I, I remember doubt the, that there was I some big that. avengers film one of those like britain got a week before well you doubt that's happening with with your movie or yeah. you doubt that happens <laughs> i doubt that happens no it does <laughs> it does happen with big movies yeah i don't i don't believe you yeah that's fine <laughs> i doubt it i'm confident in my own knowledge i don't need you to believe me because it's still true well that's cool like dude with we have like a pretty cool picture house next to us so i'll i'll go opening night for cool. Sure. Please do. They're going to run the trailer. The trailer's going to debut next, I think next Friday in front of the Black Phone. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Uh, I think they're going to run the trailer in front of Thor. That'll be cool. After 8.30, right? After 8.30. They can't run it before 8.30. Yes. Oh, because it's for a horror mm. film. Yeah. So if I want to see it the your... Red Band trailer or something? No, it's not a Red Band trailer, but it's it's still, it's it's, you know, it's a little scary. I don't think kids... Yeah, I mean, yeah, Thor is like a kid's movie pretty much. Yeah. Uh, but uh, is it because it's like an R-rated movie? Do they not show R-rated I think it's, a, it's it's a specifically it's a horror thing. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. And is it I didn't true know that like the villain in your movie is a kitten? Darren, I've God, seen. no. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> we, we, Darren, we, we signed those, uh, not DNRs. What are they called? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we signed those DNRs. Wait, NDA. why did we do that? <laughs> NDAs. NDAs. <laughs> why the fuck did I? NDRs. <sighs> okay. DNR. Yeah. Um, yeah. You oh blew my it. God. <laughs> now the now the DNR has to be enabled. Uh, ripped apart and <laughs> sign a new one. I guess. No, Darren has oh, to not be. I got confused because I made my kid sign a DNR the other day, so that's why I got <laughs> <laughs> Honey, just to trust. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know. uh, what's going on with the Sam? What's going on with Sam, do you know how expensive oxygen is? It's uh, fucking crazy. I also, I also want to point out something uh, uh, about Zach's movie is uh, if you thought it was going to be a small little like uh, playing at at uh, festivals and kind of hard to catch movie, no, right? No, no it's, it's be a, like nationwide. A, Dude, yeah, it's gonna it's, be a wide release. There's a That's chance. Huge. There's a it's chance crazy. it'll play. It'll. There's a chance it'll play here. You. It'll, I mean, if you have movie theaters, I, I, did, you. I just said I went to a movie. <laughs> yeah, but I, exactly. I imagine that was just like your friend's house who charges everybody money. Yeah, like two like couches, like, shit, like right one around. couch in front of the other. Listen, yeah. man. You know. hey, all I'm saying is that Jeff's basement is still often on the wide release schedule. So yeah. you know. We're going to uh, pick up some Chislick. He makes his own Lefsa, and we're going to watch your uh, Barbarian. So. If you if you got on the phone, talked to your agents, and talked to your managers, and were like, not in Watertown. Make sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could, could I have the power to, like, block There's just a, like, a town? Yeah, there's no. like a town I don't want. You know what? I only I have see... one request. One request. <laughs> if this were if this were Trevor making like his own movie and releasing it, like he that he, he might do that. Like he used to always tell me, like, you should visit me. And he's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> and even like I, I, there was even a point where I, I looked into getting us to play the comedy festival that I used to put on, and he's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like ah. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Oh, and then uh yeah, it was uh yeah, it was that's was... funny. A funny process, anyways. It didn't work out, obviously. But yeah, yeah, I'm um, not doing that. I'm not doing that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a- Abby says Zach's movie is available in China, but not Watertown, South Africa. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably about right. Uh, so not my bus. He says, "Will you be promoting your movie on Jimmy Fallon?" <laughs> I doubt it very much. <laughs> <laughs> but that has nothing to do. I don't. I don't think I'm going to be doing the talk show circuit on the movie. Well, be the actors, right? I mean, I have no idea. I mean, if, there's a lot of stuff any, I, I really don't know. So, if anybody does, I'm saying, if any, yeah. if they do that, it'd probably be the actors, right? So. Did you know? Yeah, I mean, Bill Skarsgård. Did you guys know he's going to be the crow? Whoa! Are they actually? Mm-hmm. They've been make. They've been trying to make a new crow for. 
He's Correct. gonna be the new crow. He's really is it really happening? That's great. I, I think can so. see that. I can see that. That's a good yeah. choice. Do you hear the, who the what? bad guy is in it? In the crow? Yeah. Alec Baldwin. Bad Kitten. Alec oh, Baldwin. Alec Baldwin, really? No, shut up, Sam, you fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> oh, I that get would it. Be fucking <laughs> insane, dude. I get it, Sam, I get the good. connection. I get the connection. <laughs> Very good. That's awesome. That's uh, uh, that's quite the joke. If you're quite Bill the Skarsgård, joke. they're like, we got the bad guy. It's Alec Baldwin. You're like, uh. Oh. He's like, oh, uh, yeah. But wait, but wait. Here's the thing, though. Do two curses can't do two curses cancel themselves out? Because if you're already the crow, uh oh. But then they bring on the dude who already actually shot somebody on a set. So then maybe two curses. Well, I mean, out, one's, be fine. one's a curse. One's just recklessness, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Because the Brandon Lee thing was like a freak accident. Yeah. Who cares? Like it's just a little murder. That's what Julio <laughs> said. <laughs> <laughs> Two curses uh, make a, a miracle. They returned to shooting, right? Alec Baldwin. They, they, they kept oh, that movie? Making the movie, right? Yeah. Wow. I think so. Can you imagine that return to set? Oh, well, it's <laughs> like, the, the woman who uh, died is buried not far from where Trevor's buried. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. geez. Did that that happen not long after he he died, right? Wasn't it like last fall that that happened? A couple months, yeah. Wow. Geez. That was that was one of those things where it was like, ah, I'd love to hear his take. Who Baldwin's? Oh, Trevor's no, take. Trevor's. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, you're right though. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah. Comfy Dog says, "Did you guys see Alec Baldwin's interview with the cops?" No. Was that like released? Oh yeah, yeah. The, the they have the um, the um, what do they call it? The chest, the badge cam footage. Oh, what do they call that? I don't know. Uh, body cam. Body, body cam. cam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cop cam. That thing they turn off when they're gonna shoot someone. Uh, Sam, you were uh, following the the amber. Uh, Depp trial pretty closely. Uh, oh, so I, you I watched every minute of it. <laughs> so are you like uh, happy with the outcome or do you think it's bullshit? Uh, I think it's bullshit. That's that's legit my take. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, I agree. I think it sucks because it's going to set a precedent that is not cool. That's why I don't like it. And I think there's a, you know, there's, I, I think there was a lot of like, uh, uh, manipulating of public opinion. I think the way that the juries were handled was, was not, uh, accurate to, or not accurate, not like, I don't know. Uh, uh, so yeah, are you pro deaf or are you pro herd? He's pro herd. You're pro, pro herd? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm anti. Depp winning a defamation case against Heard for uh, the article that she wrote. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> and I think, uh, it, I think it was a bad yeah. relationship. I think, uh, mm -hmm. and I think it it became this thing where instead of being about like the actual what the case is about, it became about who who won the relationship. And I think it was yeah. a relationship. I think it was two yeah. toxic personalities. But yeah, but, but uh, to me, it sets a precedent that like, okay, so now when someone accuses you of something, you know, like the, like you know, in a relationship, accuses you of abuse or whatever, where you could just take them to court and tell, you know, get the world to say that they're wrong, you know. Um, but to, and then, well, the other thing is the article she wrote was anonymous, you know, so it's it's just weird too because it's like, like kind of saying, well, it's about me, oh, you know. <laughs> So I don't know. Both. I just think Johnny Depp is, is cooler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can yeah, tell because well, like whenever you're whenever we go out and it's like a weekend and we go out, you get your rings on, you get your scarf, you yeah. get your hat. Yeah. Yeah. You call Keith Richards. <laughs> And then you mentioned that you knew Hunter S. Thompson every time. And then we're like, yeah. OK, yes, we know. Can we go? Johnny Depp does seem like the absolute lamest person. 
Yeah. And like, he didn't used to. He didn't used to. But he, he didn't has, used to. He has but, changed with the times. And he's exactly. So he's frozen guy. in amber and he's frozen in amber in like an extreme. And it's like, no, man, you have to you have to adapt. You have to it evolve. Is, it is funny. You chose Amber as the as the uh, Ooh, metaphor there. frozen in but, amber. Um, his memoir. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, here's here's what happened to me is there was a point like in the late night or mid or early mid 2000s there's a point where johnny depp said all right every film role i'm just gonna wear a goofy hat and wear face paint and then like that's what he did for like everything he did for for quite a while you know what was the last really cool performance he did that's a tough i mean here's the thing is uh, was it donnie brasco well hold, hold on though hold on hold on Here's the thing is Jack Sparrow is a great performance. Okay, fair enough. Fair those enough. movies are fucking terrible. And I know that because I watched the first one with my kid like a year and a half ago and she loved it. And so we watched all fucking five of them. And it's like, they're all like two and a half, almost three, one of them is three hours long. And it, and just every time it's just like, oh my God. You know what? what? Like, <laughs> I went to the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie and I walked out. I was so bored. I walked really? out of the theater. And then we yeah. had those AMC cards where we could get into a- any yeah, movie at any AMC for yeah, free. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like trapped in LA and I didn't like know anyone at that time. I was like here for a work thing. So I just went to the second Pirates movie and uh, it was, yeah. It, I, why am I talking so much about this? Like anyone gives a shit. <laughs> I've walked out of two Pirates movies. I don't, uh, they're just, they're so goddamn they're bad. bad. Yeah, the, the, they're so bad. They're bad the movies. Fir- yeah, the I, first I, one I, is like entertaining. Uh, I took I it upon myself to like, I was like, I terrible. wonder what will happen if I watch all of these. Oh. And it oh. was <laughs> I wonder what I don't will know. happen. Oh, man. I don't know. It was <laughs> like, what if I went to the dentist every day? Yeah. Yeah. How would that go? And, and, and it was, it went happen. really bad. It, it went worse than when I watched all the Transformers. I didn't make it through uh, all the that, Transformers, but that's that was a good. I've only bad. seen a couple Transformers. Is I think one and three, and I really enjoyed the Bumblebee movie. I think that's actually a good movie. I've but, never uh, seen a Transformers movie. The the pirates they which get is worse, weird. The Transformers, Transformers movies get weird, and like the like moral compass of those movies is all fucked up, and like they're since they're robots, they're like super violent, where they're like ripping each other's yeah, heads off and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like cool. you're, you're supposed to be. Yeah, it's it's weird. And but like, Johnny Depp, like, you know, what? Optimus was, Prime is super like vengeful and like, yeah, he, I'm he's gonna very kill like, you. Uh, he's, he's like, like <laughs> he's like, uh, what's his name? He's like uh, the, 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 uh, Death Wish. He's like Charles Paul Kersey. He's like, yeah, he's like Bronson's character from Death Wish. Only a, he could also be a truck. There's this. Oh, did part. you guys see the footage of Tom Hanks like cussing no. at the people? Oh, yeah. oh no, no, really? The fuck off! I saw. I put it on yeah. the Reddit. Cool. Uh, I didn't ro- watch it. Yeah. Back the uh, fuck off! Who's he yelling yeah. at? Like some some goober. I don't know. Some oh, like, like skinny a goober. Paparazzi guy like knocked oh. his wife. Like, oh well, then fuck that guy. That, yeah. Hands. Well, then, then Tom Hanks is still. But I don't think it was. I think it was like an autograph hound. Oh really? And uh, and also like if you watch it, the guy Tom's yelling at isn't even the guy that actually kind of oh. tripped his wife. It would be really funny, though, if he was swearing and then still said goober, like, back the fuck off, you goober. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I got goobers all he's, over me. And he's like all swearing, but still saying goobers like these fucking goddamn goobers. That, all these fucking goobers in Rita's face. Fuck you, goobers. I mean, we have that. We have Tom Cruise flipping out on the guy for squirting him in the face. Oh, that's a good one. That's, that's a that's good one. He's like, you know, it's like, you're, you're a jerk. You're a, you're a, you're a jerk. jerk. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm, I'm actually meeting you. One. Oh man, <laughs> there's some good ones. Well, and I know that we've talked about this one a few times, and we watched it at a few writing meetings. But De Niro being shitty to the uh, the guys oh, yeah. on the cover. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm like, sorry. No, excuse me. Not a cock Excuse me. No. <laughs> all right. All right. We 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 got it. We got a fun game here. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, let's let's get ready for a classic game called Who's in the Right? Who's in the Right? <laughs> All right, De Niro oh, no. yelling at the director. Who's the in director. the right? The director. The director. De Niro. How? 
De Niro. It's, it's De Niro because it's his show. It's about the Tribeca Festival, which is his festival. Is that what it was? Uh, okay. yeah. yeah. All right. Everything that's going on is because yeah. he hey, yep, put right. energy into having right. it be yep. there. And then okay. some kid is yep. telling him how to fucking deliver the message. He's like, yep. no. You're right. I didn't know I'm it was the boss. his. I didn't know it was his deal. There, yeah. Then you're right. Yep. Yep. You're right. Now, I agree with that one. Christian right. Bale. So De Niro's in the right. No, I was talking about Tom Hanks. Tom Chris, Hanks. Tom Hanks. I need to watch the. Tom I need Hanks. to watch the video. But probably no, Tom the, Hanks. No, the 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 boob who like knocked it out of her hand. He's in the right. The go- <laughs> the goober. All right. Uh, so there we go. That's Darren's. I want to watch this in. video. Okay. Let's see if you can convince me. The goober, because he didn't knock the phone out. It was some other guy. But I'm not going to say Tom Hanks is like hard in the wrong. He should be upset at that other guy. Yeah, he just made a mistake. He wasn't wrong. He was just misguided. He he yelled at the wrong guy. Now, I would say that Tom Cruise, and I never want to give Tom Cruise much credit, but I think he was squarely in the right when he did the you're a jerk thing to the guy. He was actually very, I thought that was like, he handled it really well. Oh, yeah. He was like, he didn't let the guy go. He's, he's, he's like, stop, come here. He's like, come here. And he like made it, he made it a moment. He's like, I'm giving you my time. I'm doing an interview with you and you spray me. Like, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. Go Tom. All right. Now, Tom Cruise with the masking stuff. Tom Cruise with the masking stuff. What is that? What is that? Uh, Mission Impossible. Tom oh, Cruise yells yeah. at the crew about about uh, COVID. Oh, I actually thought he was right in that too. I, yeah. I th- my take on that is that he was driving to work. He's like, I'm going to walk in and I'm going to have a tactical tantrum. Like I'm going to go lose my temper in about 20 minutes because I want to make sure everybody understands how serious this is. What? Right. What? I haven't seen this. So he. Uh, so they I'll were filming. They were filming the new Mission Impossible movies, and yeah, he he basically went to set, and there were people on the set that were not following whatever COVID precautions they were doing, like masking and distancing and all oh, that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. And so he flipped out on them, and not only for safety mm-hmm. reasons, but also he's like, everybody else here is working and trying to get this film done fucking on time, and you guys are slowing us up. Like, you know, like they're Yeah, and if you fuck this up for all of us, we have to shut it down, then other movies, not just us, other movies are not going to go. And this is like an industry-wide thing, and like, we matter. And like, you're not taking it. He was totally right. Now, here's another one. Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. Will Smith was right. Will Smith was right. You know, like, you know, Jokes are jokes, but at a certain point, you know, alopecia is not really, it's not a joking thing. And I don't care where you are. That's a man's wife. And, and if you got to lay hands on someone, you got to lay hands on someone. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Why am I wrong? Hey, Zach, how'd that, how'd that doctor's visit go? I got alopecia. (laughs) You want to talk about setting a shitty precedent. I mean, that's, you know, like, no, don't. Just don't do that. Oh we'll man! Talk to him later, you know. Do you think? Right, do so you I'm, think? Do, I'm not done watching uh, my Tom Hanks video. Hold on. How? All right, let's hold on. Let's wait for Timmy to watch his video. I like that people are uh, like bad take. Yeah. Bad take, Zach. Bad take. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the guy, the guy trying to stab Dave Chappelle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> Dave Chappelle has never been stabbed. How is that okay? How? Tell me how that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that guy uh, was just trying to make a name for himself. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hard business to crack into. <laughs> He's trying to crack into business. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, what if, okay. Tom what about, Hanks, hold Tom on. Hanks. What, about okay. uh, what about Crispin Glover's uh, performance on David Letterman when he was on Acid? Yeah, I mean, right. wait, okay, so you're going to go on Letterman and not be on acid and and not if you're good at karate, you're just you're just going to pretend that you're not good at karate on TV? Yeah, wait. you have to show people that you're good at karate. What yeah. did he do? I don't even know that one. <laughs> he just like was had an acid <laughs> meltdown during his interview and he like got up and he started like karate kicking like right in front of David Letterman's face. He was like <laughs> <laughs> I believe, or okay. I haven't watched it in a decade. So I, I, I wonder so, if that was a stunt. Like, I wonder if, like, I mean, might have been. It, it could be on like acid. Andy Kaufman and Jerry but King. Still, like, I, I wonder. I mean, I don't think Letterman was in on it, but I, I wonder if he was like, "Oh, this will be really funny if I." Probably. I think he, he was like dressed in the the outfit of his character from the movie he was promoting. 
Yeah, oh, wasn't was he? he in character for his movie? I know he was. Maybe. I mean, he's yeah, also yeah. very crazy. Yeah, well, that's the thing is, as soon as Darren said Chris Glover, I'm like, well, Chris Glover. Like, I already knew the answer in my head. I'm like, I'm always on his side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Tom Hanks thing. I just watched it. Like, uh, yeah, so it's like a wave of people kind of mushing them and somebody bumps her and she drops her phone is what it looks like. And so he kind of turns around and goes, you know, back the fuck up. And he is like, there's like one person in front who's not the guy that bumped her that kind of looks like the target at first, but it kind of looks like he's just telling all of them like, fuck it, back off, you know, which but I have uh, to say, I, I'm okay I, like, that. I'm not like a huge Tom Hanks fan, but I like Tom Hanks a lot. I think he's like a really, he's a great actor. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like I have a relationship with him for 30 years. I've never met him, but like, you know, like we all have a relationship with Tom Hanks. He's right. our lovable uncle. Yes. It, a part of me was really disappointed to see him yelling that, you know, yeah. like, no, kind of like when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, it was like, Oh, Will Smith is like a not not who he's been pretending to be. He's like a really damaged, fucked up person. Yeah, yeah. And it's like that spell is broken. Like yeah. I kind of always thought Will Smith probably sucked, but right. with Tom Hanks, it's like, oh no, like yeah, like it, you want it, him to be his saving private Ryan right. character. Well, he's and been obviously perfect. he's not. He's been perfect forever, so it's like you know. Uh, I mean, the, the like tough a- the tough thing is, is is his son is Chet Hanks. <laughs> or, or, and like even did you just see oh, him dude. be like hey here i am with my son you're like uh how'd you raise oh, that man. kid you know what you want to that... talk about who's going to vanilla ice chet hank chet, yeah. is gonna be in the front fr- he's yeah. gonna be like yo dad can you get me tickets so i can like meet him can i do the meet and greet if you yeah. had to be uh trapped on vacation for two weeks with either chet hanks or jaden smith who are you gonna go with? I would do Chet Hanks oh, ten out of ten times in a row. I no no doubt in my mind I would go with. I Chet think Hanks. Chet's uh, yeah, hanging out with Chet's gonna be funnier. Jaden yeah. might be interesting, but it's like I don't know. Like I feel like with Chet, you know what you're gonna get. Jaden's like gonna do something random that you aren't prepared for. Well, I also uh, think that Chet yeah. is like a ridiculous person, but he doesn't he doesn't think he's. I don't get the vibe that he thinks he's like a superhuman, right. and I think that Jaden thinks he's a superhuman. I would hang like, out with I would hang out with Jaden for that reason. I would find yeah, that yeah, very I think, fascinating. I I like, and what and if I'd he wears like, that like uh, what if he wears huh. his uh, white Batman suit? Like I'd be psyched. Like, like, I'd right, be exactly. like, wow, this paid it's off like, already. It's like, oh, Wait, does he have a white Batman suit? Oh yeah, he, dude, he that he wore up. to a wedding. To okay, that's wedding. actually rad. You know yeah. what? Maybe you guys are right. Wasn't it Kanye's wedding? It was, was it yeah, like... there was a Kim and Kanye's wedding. He showed up in a white Batman suit with yeah. the cowl. Yeah. Yes, the whole thing. Uh, that's here, badass. I'll, I'll get it for Tim, you. Can you pull up a photo and show it you to me? You got it, buddy. It's coming. <laughs> so good. It's so good. Oh my god. Okay, it's coming. It's so fucking stupid. I love it. I love it so much. I have a question. Was yeah. that the first time you Damn. heard Tom Hanks say the F word? <laughs> oh. No, because there's uh, that scene in Forrest Gump where he's like, fuck me, Jenny. Fuck me, Jenny. Fuck me, Jenny. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then in Philadelphia where he's he says, like, like, fuck me, Denzel. Fuck me. It's, he does it a lot. <laughs> I may be fucking stupid, but I do know what fucking love is. <laughs> hey, no, it, I actually, I, this doesn't count because it's not actually him, but it's his character in Big. He goes, I want to be fucking big. <laughs> I want to be fucking big. <laughs> I want to be fucking big. <laughs> fucking big. <laughs> and then there's that, oh yeah, there's that scene in Saving Private Ryan where he goes like, Earn this, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> fucking earn this. Fucking okay. earn this, bro. He's like, fucking Nazis. <laughs> fucking Nazis. All oh, throughout dude, that film. It's even I weirder. Gene it. Smith wore that thing to a prom. Oh, oh well, that's not as cool. He wore it to prom. What a weird uh, guy. Uh, Houston, we have a fucking problem. Fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> There's some fucking gas, some fucking vapor shit. It's pretty rad. It's pretty rad. It's so funny. Uh, if it was in uh, a wedding, I would think it was radder. Yeah, I yeah, changed yeah. my mind. I'm going back to Chet. I, 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 I thought he did wear that at the wedding, no? Well, he, he probably did. I think he wore it more than once. Well, here's the thing, man. If you custom order an all-white, like, leathery Batman outfit, you're going to wear it more than once. It'd be a waste. Yeah. 
probably cost him 30 grand, you know? Like, the Ilium yeah. work says worst Batman ma- Batmobile ever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's that to the back and Toy Story goes golf. There's cart. a fucking snake in my boot. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says there's that scene in Castaway where he's like, "Would you fuck me to Wilson?" <laughs> it's pretty good. Fucking yeah. Wilson! Oh, he, he was on a white scooter. He had a white bird scooter with a bat symbol on it too. Wow! And in that movie, that Captain Phillips movie, when he's like. I'm fucking Captain Phillips. No, no, it's it's the other guy. That's a misquote. That's a common misquote. That's, that's it's the, the other joke. guy. The other guy goes, look at me, look at me, look at me. He goes, I'm the captain now. And then Tom Hanks goes, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> um. And then why in would the, Tim, someone says, there's why would the Tim terminal. Even... He goes, I'm foreign. Fuck. I'm in a terminal. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Man, that Christ, was just Sam. bizarre, buddy. That foreign <laughs> fuck. I don't know I'm what gonna, gonna, You guys, do. you can sign up and take sketch writing classes with Sam <laughs> seven days a week, anytime you want. Open uh, admission. Did you guys see the terminal? You. No. No one saw the terminal. If you have to call I saw in sick, a little bit just, of it. if you have to call in sick on any day of Sam's class, just do impression night. Um, so <laughs> he'll be yeah. teaching you crazy characters, impression uh, night situations, yeah. uh, you mean, know, zany zingers, yeah. mean terminal guy, mean terminal guy. Uh, somebody in chat said, uh, "Why would Timmy even ask such a stupid question?" Tom Hanks says, "Fuck all the time," but Darren asked that question. Yeah, I asked. How that. the hell do you get us mixed up? <laughs> What's with these it's- fucking clouds on this fucking atlas? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that in chat. That's pretty funny. Uh, or, or, or what would yeah, you be what- my fucking neighbor? Somebody says that's good. I thought Wait, he's, line- got, he's had thought- swear. Did he did he swear in bachelor party? That's like an R rated teeny teen movie. There's like boobs and stuff in it. He had to say fucking that, right? I think they just made a bunch of jokes about a stripper fucking a donkey. I don't know if they said fuck, but... And he said the N-word a ton in that one, so I don't know if that matters. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I know it's my bachelor party, but I have some opinions about... (laughs) (laughs) Like, oh, no. Um... (laughs) Abby Sally, where the fuck is Hooch? (laughs) (laughs) Where the Um, fuck is Hooch? Where the fuck is Hooch? (laughs) I can just picture him saying it like, where the fuck, you know, that Tom Hanks, like exasperated kind of thing. He does like, where the fuck is Hooch? When he was young, Tom Hanks. Yeah, totally. There's no fucking crying in baseball. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that, that, you know what? That's a great Tom Hanks performance too. He's so fucking good in that movie. Yeah, he is really good in that. That's a great movie. It's really funny. Yeah, there's, they're about to come out with a TV show. That's right. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, what network? Show. I want to say Amazon or something. Amazon, right? I believe. Yeah. The, oh, I watched. It's one of the two networks, Amazon right. or Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo. So I today I watched. I, I had the whole day off, nothing to do. My kid was not around, and no work or anything. So uh, I watched this three-hour movie I've been wanting to watch for a long time, called R R R from India. Have you guys heard it? No, I've heard about it. Yeah, I've heard Good. about it. Good. <laughs> oh, What's the like, deal? On Instagram, I've seen nothing but people post about how I need to see this movie in theaters. Yeah. So not me personally, but how everyone yeah. needs to go see it. If you can, uh, if I could see it in a theater, I would for sure. What's special about it? So uh, it's a historical fiction action epic about these two guys that were very uh in real life they're very important to um india uh, getting independence you know fighting against the british in like the early 19 like it takes place in, like 1920 and uh so it's a and these two guys they don't know for sure if they ever met in real life but this takes place during a time where they could have met so it's about these guys like becoming friends and it's just like super bromance but there's like action and the action is crazy. Like I don't want to spoil stuff, but in the first 10 minutes, a dude throws a wolf at a tiger and there's like, 
motorcycle fights and lots of gun fights and just but also like musical numbers because it's made in india and it's like uh you know is it accidentally funny no it's like i mean there's parts that are just so crazy that you're smiling but it, it's not like so bad it's good kind of stuff it's like an awesome fucking movie and uh i mean you 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 know, you really like the characters and stuff, but it's three hours long. But um, no, the action scenes are like, I'm, there's no way to, to me, I don't know if I get overhyped it, but I also don't want to say too much, but like the action scenes are like insane. And, uh, but then the, there's musical numbers and there's, there's like this whole section about the two guys becoming friends. That's like super, it's so uh, sincere that it comes off as homoerotic. Cause they're like, they're like dancing by a tree that one of them like it rides on the other guy's shoulders and they're like riding a motorcycle together and like singing a song about it. It's, it's like, you just kind of watch it. Like it's, hmm. uh, I, I've not seen, you know, I've watched movies from India a little bit, but like, I've never seen a movie like this before. And it's like, it's like a huge international phenomenon right now too. So interesting. Yeah, Scheduled conflict uh, says saw it in New York. It was a, it was fantastically wild. Yeah, I, fantastically wild. It's a good. That's a good way to put it. It's fucking crazy, man. It's like, it's just these guys are just so like. It's just so like much, like positive, a positive version of like man energy. They're like doing push-ups and shit, but like to save their their homeland. It's just, it's just crazy. What's it's, wait? It's, what's the I logistics of that? He's like. He's like doing chin ups in jail to like break out of jail and like oh, okay, bring guns okay. to his village so they can defend themselves. You know? I thought it was like, all right, we're going to gonna spare your homeland <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you do a yeah. hundred pull ups in a minute. Right. And uh, a lot of good, just like evil white people getting their fucking come up. It's, you know, that happens like a lot in it. So evil white people. Yeah. Tons. Of, well, because yeah. it's about the British Empire in the 1920s. So we're fucking evil, you know? So. Um, there's like a, a great scene. There's like, you know, some good metaphor shots or just not even metaphor, but just overt messages where there's like a flag at one point when there's a fight towards the British office or whatever, there's like a flag that says like the British empire will never die. And there's a close up on it. And then a guy shoots one of the evil British characters. And so it shows a blood splatter across like the British empire will never die. You know, stuff like that. There's a scene where they're like swinging on these ropes to save a child from a river that's on fire and there's a train exploding all around them. And one of them is swinging with like the, the Indian flag. Like, so it's, uh, it's like, it's, it's just crazy. It's like, it's, it's great though. And it's like, so feel good. It's not like I was never laughing at it. You know what I mean? It's, now, it's good. Darren, would you be furious to see a movie about people being anti British empire? <laughs> well, yeah, I already think the movie's bullshit. Because <laughs> the British, they were just trying to get some space. I mean, we're really cramped on this little island. And fucking France and Germany won't give a shit. So we went all the way over to India to kind of spread out a little bit. Australia. Yep. Most Darren, are yeah. your daughters Let's developing a British accent? Upper half of Africa. They are. Are they really? They are. Yeah, Are they really? it's, it, it's even in my kind of little inflections, like just weird little, you hit, leave little things hanging on the like end. What? Oh. Just like um, if you're going to say like in American, like, what are you doing today? But in British, like, what are you doing today? You know, it's like has this little like, da -da. like it's Rachel's doing it. I'm doing it. It's like I, I, I smacked her. <laughs> I noticed that you called the movie theater a picture house earlier. Well, that's the name. That's the like brand name of the, oh, the movie okay. theater. Okay. It's called. I thought Picture it was House. some cute British thing. Like, do you yeah. say lo do you call trucks lorries? No, I don't. Do you call vaginas I... fannies? <laughs> <laughs> no, I call them fluffer doodles. Uh, so, but hey, now that you since you live over there, you can say content. It's not offensive, right? Because they just say it all the time. I. Yeah, <laughs> and what? <laughs> Do you get really excited about it? Yeah. Are you just like, hey, cunts, what's what up? Cunts? How's all the cunts doing around here? How you doing? Oh, I haven't man, let I it rip yet. Cunt. That oh, hurts. God, all you twatting cunts. Put all the twatting cunts in the lorry. Like, I've, I've gone to dinner parties and there's like, you know, women. They're like professors and they're like, oh, he's just a bunch. He's a twat. 
<laughs> <Just like. laughs> so funny. Wow. Like, I, I want to let it rip, but I can't. I'm afraid. I would just say it in such a harsh American way that everyone would be like, whoa, that was yeah. offensive. She's yeah, a that twat. Guy's, <laughs> that guy's a fucking cunt. Yeah, yeah he was a, a twat. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. So you says, you uh, would use it as like like a, a term. You'd be, you'd be like, yeah, she's got a smelly twat. <laughs> I bet that lady's cunt is gross. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I was going to bed last night. I was like, Rachel, wash your cunt. It smells. And I was like, wash. Darren, what the fuck? Like, oh, I can't say. That. I thought I could say that. I thought. I was oh, it. Wash it. Wash your cunt, you twat. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sorry. Am I in England or not? Isn't that what happens? What? Someone oh, asked if they. Uh, Explain to me what I did wrong. And I gotta she tell you, twat, not two minutes ago, <laughs> nobody said shit. But when I described my wife's smelly twat, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm oh sorry, God. my wife is the one with the cunt that's covered in cheese. <laughs> it's hey, uh, someone asked, did they call this? Was a scene in that movie, King Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they uh. Did they call someone asked in chat? Did they call cum spunk? They do. Ew. Huh? That's way yeah. grosser. I know that it is, is. That's that's I, horrible. I got some spunk over there. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, who <laughs> told you, you that? Have spunk on my hands. I think I might have some. Uh, uh, I want you to spunk on my back and in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's weird is they call uh they call sneakers trainers, but if you wear dress shoes, this guy was talking about his smart shoes. He kept talking about his smart shoes, and I was like, "What are smart shoes?" <laughs> and it's just did dress they, shoes. Do they have Alexas? Yeah, I was yeah. gonna be like, "Do they do their shoes Google?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. He just meant dress shoes, like like nice dress shoes. Whatever. Yeah, just if you wear nice, like if you go to a fancy restaurant, they're like, yeah. oh, you 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 have to put on your smart shoes to, to come in here, kind of thing. Interesting. Yeah, your shoes don't look yeah. smart enough. Yeah, weird. So, is there anything, any of those kind of uh, colloquial things that they do there that you think is better than here? Like, is there any anything in their language or any terms that you think are better than whatever it's called in America? Does that make sense? Like, like for this instance, better be good. <laughs> do, you, do you think this? <laughs> uh, uh, I doubt it, Timmy. I doubt it. <laughs> like, for instance, like you're, you're like, yeah, I really think biscuits are a better term for cookies. Like, that's just said as, a, as an example. Is there anything like that? You're like, oh, that's better. No, <laughs> not right. really. Not really. Yeah. It's like when somebody offers me a biscuit, I immediately think of like a big southern buttery oh God. fat biscuit. biscuit. I'm like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> like a, that doesn't sound appealing at all. Like a cookie. Like, yeah, that's not. I'll have yeah. a cookie. Yeah, I think cookie um, is a better word. Here, right? It does make sense that up. like crisps and chips, like they do that right. Like a chip is a French fry, right? And it yeah. should be. It's a chip of a potato, and a yeah. crisp is like a fried thing. Like we we have that backwards. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think agree like a that, like a Dorito yeah. is a chip, no, but a Dorito is a crisp. Sure. Yeah. 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 But like a potato chip is like a chip of the potato, right? Yeah. Shut up. Is, Sam, shut the but... fuck up. <laughs> this is bullshit. Someone says calling priests <laughs> calling priests Sorry. vicars is kind of cool. I agree. Vicar is a a cool word for priest instead of priest, but like I haven't heard that one. I also don't like church at all, so it's like I don't care. <laughs> but uh, someone says a potato chip is shaped like a casino chip. What? I don't know what that comment means. Someone says, "Do you eat bangers with your mash?" Are you just gonna read all the comments? Yeah. Oh, uh, do we have any donos? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah we, we haven't done do. donos tonight. Yeah, yeah, I did a couple early on, but let me get back to that. I was just wondering if we were bombing all night. Terribly. No, yeah. we're doing fine. We can usually no tell way. if we're bombing by how much Timmy's reading the chat, and <laughs> yeah, when we're bombing, Timmy just starts reading the fucking. <laughs> and uh, Gulio uh, says, "LOL." Deja and Tendu says, "At and buyers, they call them nonces." Uh, Implicate says, says, "Darren Timmy's should go on Zucchini favorite. Boys and do an English breakfast." Uh, Cerveza two two three says, "Hi, Timmy." Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You guys ready for donos, or are you still going with this C C level insult comic shit like a Don Rickles on a bad day? 
you guys just made me miss Trevor. Okay. So So we're, we shouldn't talk? I no, don't get it. I wanted to make sure it's okay. You should be fine now. Why are you mad at us? What because are we you're laughing at me off? when I'm trying to make the fucking stream turn on after we crashed. Oh. So just fucking let me, like, get it Do under control. Thing. No one's stopping you. We're okay. just trying to keep you, the energy Yeah, up. and that's great, but you to... couldn't hear me when I was saying that you're muted and you guys were going and going. So now we should be okay. I Dar clocked it. Darren, I go ahead. It. Darren, can you say something so they can see if you're... No, Darren's He's muting on purpose because it's fucking Darren. Thanks, Darren. Is it 2 o'clock there yet? Um, all right. Darren's not muted. Darren Stone muted himself. Cold. Why you got to burn me with the 2 o'clock burn? <laughs> That's just mean. <laughs> Darren, I like you. What's up? Uh, you guys want to look at... Uh, well, shit, now... Uh, how do I do now? Fan art's going to be different since we're going from my stream. I think I'm gonna jump off now. Yeah, wait. We're gonna look at fan art. You no, want to yeah, kidding. maybe I'm me kidding. too, man. I'm... I feel like I've been scolded. <laughs> All right, see you I don't quite get it, see... and I'm just like I'm, I'm over it. All right, bye, Zach. Darren, don't go. Um, you want to look at fan art? <laughs> Why are you mad at me? What the fuck I'm is not, the problem? I'm not actually mad at you anymore. I just wanted you guys to shut anymore? up. So I could... Why were you mad at me? <laughs> because you, dude, because you guys just kept laughing at me when I'm trying to make the stream work. And we I weren't didn't laughing at you. We yes, were laughing at me you were. shitting my pants. No, but then I said you're muted and you were making fun of me for trying to let you guys know that you're muted. So th I didn't appreciate that because I'm trying to fucking come in at the, la you know. But the Randomly. way you told us that we're muted is you guys, guys, stop, 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 you're muted. You came in, like, real hot. Yeah, because I was saying it for a while, and, and you guys were going and going and not listening to me. Now oh, look, Sam's, now look, Sam's oh, gone. God. All right, let's do Reddit uh, X split. <laughs> Reddit what? <laughs> let's do Reddit fan art. What is it? Reddit, Reddit art. fan art hour. Okay, right? yeah. The Red whitest kids you know present Reddit's fan art hour. Hey, Ken, but can I get an update on the movie? Does anybody know? Are we like yeah, how are we doing on that? animated? Like, uh, it I, will I, be yeah, like people keep asking. Like I I'm told, know. it will be done in September. Like finished. Finished. Yeah. And then, um, I mean, I don't know how we're going to release it, but like we should be finished with the movie in September, which is amazing. Um, Are we going to get to do... Uh, I'm coming to L.A., by the way. I'll be there... Well, geez, I'll, I'm coming at the beginning of September. Um, oh. But yeah. but uh, are we going to get to watch like a, they're at 50% viewing or something like that? Didn't Savant yeah. mention something like that? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a... Um, it's, you know, it, the whole thing is that like since it's you know animation you're getting stuff finished in pieces and then for like us to do a check-in it's just about like compiling the pieces that we have that are finished right now so yeah cool um why is it fan art coming up i guess i'll just do a screen share and zoom okay Sam, your buddy steve albini just won a major prize at a 2022 I world know. series of poker That's yeah crazy. yeah he won he uh won the horse competition uh, I guess that's like a poker thing, but World Series of Poker. He came in first. Steve Albini, wow. the Whoa. Steve really? Albini, the producer guy. No, uh, it's his second uh, World Series of Poker win. Wait, the guy from wow. Chicago, the, the the producer, the music producer from Chicago. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? I didn't know he played poker. That's crazy. Uh, so hey, he has like two two bracelets. Sam, can you enable yeah. screen and sharing? It's funny because. They apparently they wanted. They were like, "Can we get a picture of you with the bracelet on?" And he, he was like, "No." He was like, "I don't really wear bracelets. I'll hold it." <laughs> <laughs> Sam, can you enable screen sharing, please? Yeah. There we go. Uh, okay. All right. I've I've always wanted to do that. I really want to do that someday. Didn't you uh, before, poker. Darren? Didn't you? I thought there was one time where you like would, would just. Or maybe a couple times. Like, didn't you play in a few poker tournaments, like in Atlantic City or something? Yeah, yeah. I've only I've gone to the final table. I think like two times, but like a tournament of like a hundred people. That's it. Yeah. Um, 
And then when you get to the final table in these tournaments, like everybody just splits the money. Like everybody just like puts, takes all the chips and they just like divide it up based off of chip count or how much uh, okay. money there is. And so that way everyone's just a winner and everyone can walk away. Like participation winning. awards? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that Pretty just much. the most 2022 thing? Right. New new rules. Did you guys ever do uh, like sports in school and then like you get like an eighth place ribbon, but really that was a participation ribbon. They just say they just put eighth place on it. Cuz it like that happened a lot cuz you know, like when I was in like 5th grade, I was on the wrestling team and I was terrible, of course, but you, so like I didn't win at all, but you still get a, a ribbon and it says eighth place. It's like that just means it's like the last place. And Did you have a wrestling name? No, it wasn't it was high school wrestling. It wasn't like in a ring with a mask. Missed opportunity. Right. Um, so I'm going to go into That'd fan art. That would be awesome art. if they could do that. If they could like have yeah. the, the whole... Like, All right, kids. Yeah. Today <laughs> at wrestling practice, we're going to go into our costumes. Right. And, and you know there's so many kids who are like, fucking finally! You know, like they think that's what it's supposed to be. And they're wearing those stupid little unis. But you know what's funny? Talk about pro wrestling and like regular, whatever they call it, Greco-Roman high school wrestling is Brock Lesnar, the pro wrestler, is from Webster, South Dakota, about an hour away. So in high school, or maybe I was in middle school because he's a little older than me. So I was at a wrestling tournament like at the high school, you know, because I was in the band and we had to play there. And he, I saw Brock Lesnar wrestle, but like normal high school wrestling where they have to like get down and, you know, but he's fucking huge. Like even then yeah. he was like fucking gigantic. Did Vince McMahon get canceled? He kept on saying, suplex city, bitch. <laughs> uh, Vince McMahon is in trouble, right? His sexual harassment or something, right? I probably. Yeah, he had to step down. Oh, he from, did. Okay. I haven't heard about this, but I'm it's, like, it's probably. New. It's new. It makes sense. And I also saw some sort of, it's kind of a conspiracy theory, but so his daughter, Stephanie McMahon, uh, left the company recently to like raise her kids, but now she's back all of a sudden. So they're like, well, he's going to like, you know, run the company through her you know so huh. what, if, what if this is a wrestling angle though that <laughs> it could be it could be a, a heel turn right is that what they call that uh, or a screw yeah, job i mean screw job yeah. why not <laughs> well he was never a face he's always been a heel so yeah yeah he okay really... if you were doing wrestling in junior high timmy and you had to come up with a name and a costume what would it be when i was in junior high it probably would have been a star wars related and it would have been stupid uh it would have been like you know the flying uh, Wookiee. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. No, because I was just like, I was just that, like, that was, I was super obsessed with Star Wars. What else did I like in middle school? What else would I do? I don't know what my wrestling name would have been. Probably something silly. Skankin' T. No, this is that was before that. Middle school was before okay, I was into okay. that shit. Uh, <laughs> Skankin' T. Skankin' T. I did have to, We uh, there was a skin. Give me the hut. <laughs> Timmy the Hut. There's a there was a skit that uh, some friends and I did for Odyssey of the Mind, uh, where we played wrestlers, and I was the I had a cheese head hat someone gave me, even though I didn't like the Green Bay Packers, I had a cheese head hat, and so my wrestling costume for this character is I I wore that and I was the Nacho Man Andy Cabbage, so I don't mm. know, that's as close as I mm. got. I don't know. You guys want to look at fan art yet? Zach, what would your character be? Mine would have been. Your dad and I would have gone done like deep recon on every opponent and like stuff about their childhood and their relationship with their dad, and then uh, you know I'd just get into all the minutia of their like domestic life so that as soon as they were we got into our locks and stuff I could just whisper weird things like I'm proud of you son <laughs> or like that's good you know, like, like or, or like you know I'm sorry I yelled at you about the lawnmower. Like, just, like, real sweet, like, off-putting details about, about them. For, like, the moments where they have to be on all fours, you have to be behind them, like, with your face in their ear, like that? Yeah, like, yeah. I just, like, but, said really affectionate, personal things as their dad. But that's tough, because, like, you know, I mean, it might work, and they might be like, oh, you. but if you don't make that breakthrough, it might be someone who's been, like, I've been waiting for this, old man. <laughs> yeah, they're like, all right, fucker. <laughs> Looks on you. I hate my dad. And I'm okay. like, well, my goal isn't to win the match. It's to give you catharsis. So go ahead. Do Try to give you some closure. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I left. So then if you I'm had. Sorry that I left. <laughs> I'll just keep whispering that. If you had to finish a, if you had to pick a finishing move, that'd be Not pretty good. Not you, it's my like, dad. Not you, my dad. <laughs> 
fucking, I fucking hate you. I fucking love you. Like so many matches would end that. Way. I love you, and then you're it's awkward when they're like, "I love you." Will you play catch with me? And you're like, "No, I'm just another kid." Yeah, I'm not your fucking psychic? dad, bro. You believe that shit? What? What? Oh. <laughs> the chat the chat loves that um before <laughs> uh i before i go into my character i just want to ask a quick question to the dads in the 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 stream timmy and darren uh uh did before you had your kids did you think about ways to like really really embarrass your kids what if you'd said I, ways to kill your wife before the <laughs> wait, wait, what did you ever think about ways to kill your wife way to like yeah yeah, uh, but I, so, uh, I, I need just ideas. Make her go away, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, Have an accident? Uh, uh, no, no. But, but, but now I've right. always. You know, I guess I'm. Up. I guess I'm weird. But like, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I came up with one, which is uh, when I have my my son, I'll be like, he's a little daddy's boy. <laughs> You're gonna say what? it, say it a Who's lot. Who's a little daddy? You're a little daddy's boy. Oh my I'm gonna god, call little daddy's boy. That is super embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, you guys, when he's, when he's Sam's like classes are open enrollment. You can <laughs> sign up online anytime. Learn comedy. There's plenty, plenty of seats still open. Right. Yeah. Of seats. Also, new for 2022, he's adding a parenting class too to <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. So check it out. Called uh, Daddy's Boys. It's called Making Those yeah. Fuckers Pay. I think is what he's telling <laughs> Um Who would I be? Um, I'd, I'd be Sam Brown, the junkyard slob. And I just have like cheese and shit on my shirt. Uh, so you would just show up as you and just <laughs> yeah, your yeah. In the shirt but you I, had on. And then. <laughs> When they were going to be like, Sam, this is the third time you've been to the office this week. You need to shower and you need to put on clean clothes. Like, it's part of my wrestling character. I'm the cheese yard dog. That's a good, the, that's a good angle. The cheese yard it, dog. I would have one of those unitards that's just one strap, you know? Oh, yeah, like Andre uh, the Giant wore. But only, <laughs> only bad. really big guys are allowed to wear that. Like the, like Andre the Giant and the big show, and like a huge guy. He is pretty big. I'm a, in, in high school, yeah. Andre the Giant could guy. fit a hard-boiled egg through one of his rigs. Sam isn't that big. Yeah, but in high school, he was regular size. <laughs> oh, we're talking about, that's right, we're talking about our childhoods. That's right, okay. Yeah, um, big show. Big Show was actually short in high school. No, people don't know that. Yeah, yeah. Then when he was 25, just boom. <laughs> <laughs> he had a growth spurt at 25. <laughs> Seven, that guy, that guy was fucking huge. Is he still alive? I don't know. That guy was yeah. gigantic. Anyways, but your junkyard slob character, I think, is a actual good wrestling character. I'd watch that. <laughs> Well, yeah, just think about it. Like, every week, like, showing up to fight whoever else, the Roman Reigns. Like, and now he's fighting the junkyard slob. Do you know what I heard about Vince McMahon? Hmm. Uh, oh, wait, Sam. Sorry, I got to interrupt you real quick. Sorry. Ill Thrilla Gorilla says, uh, Zach is killing it tonight. Great job, buddy. <laughs> People were going off when you when you said the dad, the daddy, daddy character. I mean, Your naturally. Daddy. People were calling you genius, and people yeah. were like... In awe. Yeah. Um, uh, Vince McMahon, things I've heard about him. Uh, one, he loves big people. Like, that's the <laughs> thing about him. Is, like, whenever a guy's, like, 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 all the wrestlers have to be huge. They have to be, like, like you know, 6'6", six, six, and that's, like, he's so into it. The other thing is he loves, like, he loves blue humor. He loves blue shit. And, like... Uh, if you watch that Beyond the Mat documentary, there's a guy who's trying to to get his way into the the WWE, and uh, the character they come up with him is like the barf or something like that, a character who can like barf on command. And he was like, "Yes, I love this. The barf, the barf. Oh, he barfs. That's oh terrible. my god." It was he re so he's, he was really into that? Like, that's a dumb he idea. Loves, and that's also, like, on other stuff I've heard him, like, going off for days about, like, just anything, like, shit-related and being like, oh, my God, that's so funny. God, he... What, yeah. Guys, I have to hop off in ten minutes. Well, can we do fan art, then? Can we do um, fan yeah, art? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Let's do fan art now. I'm gonna wait. Do nobody this. asked me what wrestler I would be. Darren, like, I'm just, Darren, what wrestler do you want to be? Peppermint Pissy. I'm just two, I'm just two <laughs> o'clock guy over here. I'm sorry. That's a horrible wrestling name. I'm sorry. I said two o'clock. It was about uh, pretending I wanted guy? you to leave, but I never want you to leave. No one would get that in your high school. <laughs> You guys just aren't ready for that yet. <laughs> but when I have to move to London and stay up till two for my streams, you're going to love it if you're one of my thousand fans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your wrestling name? Um, I would be the Wiggly Wrinkler. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You know what? That's what I love about you, man, because that is such a Darren thing, but I never would have been able yeah. to guess that in a million years. Like... That's what they call hot dogs in England, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, would you like a Wiggly no, Wiggler? Cupcakes. Wiggly Wiggler, sir. Huh? Cupcakes. <laughs> oh my god. Because we found out on that stream how much I look like Henry Winkler. Oh. I Rinkler. thought you said wrinkler, like a wrink, like a wrinkle. Oh, maybe I did say wrinkler. Either way, I just thought of that. Now. Either way, <laughs> this wrinkler. is a great idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it to wrinkler. So what? What's your finishing move? <laughs> like Zach's finishing move is well, the apology, wriggle, as, as I... your dad, right? It's like an what emotional was the first breakthrough. Word I used? Wiggly. Oh, I wiggly. wiggle. No, because I'm so I'm like really skinny, so I, I would just wiggle my way out of everything in wrestling, and everyone would be like, "Guy, hey, he's so fucking wiggly!" Oh my god, he's wiggling out of he's it. He's wiggling. This is oh my so god. insane. He's wiggling out of that steel chair. They always call folding it's the chairs wiggly steel. guy who looks exactly like Henry Winkler. <laughs> That's good. Oh, he just he just punched your dad like a jukebox, just like Henry Winkler punches jukeboxes. Okay, uh, should we do fan All right, art? Fan now? art, because okay. we gotta we yeah, gotta we gotta, we gotta, 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 gotta do this shit. Okay, so <laughs> Abby Sally says, "Guys, be quiet. I'm taking a BuzzFeed quiz." <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a we got a couple. Abby of, Sally, you're good. You're funny. That's pretty good. We have a couple tattoos. This is a good one. That looks fresh. Too. Yeah, crooked oars. Yeah, uh, this is a, and you know we haven't done this in a month, so this might be a, a month old. But yeah, that's a very good one. Um, he even has his eyes peeking over the sunglasses, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's not showing There's up no on the sunglasses. It's not showing. It's up not, on not the showing screen. up on the stream because it's a different window. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Guys, give us a second. We it's got it, just we got it, we got it. the way Zoom works. It's a little weird. He's got to, he's got to make it a, a new thing. What window do am I looking for? Just photos? You're no. looking for it's a new win, window that the um, ah no that's not it. I don't want that. What the fuck? It's because it's not there. It's because it's a different zoom window. Right, I'm looking for a zoom window, but it, I, there wasn't an option, so I'm looking for it. We'll get there. We'll get there. So go. Uh, you can add a window capture for um, probably it might still be called Zoom meeting. Okay, let me see what I got here. Very annoying. Oh yeah, I think that was it. Okay, cool. This um, is this is why usually we do it the other way. What other way? Uh, the where I have you do the. Yeah, but I can't do that right now because I'm yeah. I, I mean, the stream. Um, shit, I'm not getting this to work, so I'm just gonna stop the share for now and do it a different way. Okay, so let me do this. Can you share the folder with me? Uh, I might be able to, but I think I'll just. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do do it a different way. Let me if I can just do this. Yeah. All right, cool. Give me one second. Um, you know what tomorrow go. is? Father's Day. The last Father's Day where I don't give a fuck about Father's Day. <laughs> now, technically, I mean, but you're... Hopefully. But you're like... <laughs> right. Okay, so yeah. I'm just going to have, like, fan art in the middle of us, and we're going to do it that way. Okay, so here... Can everybody see this now? 
Can nope. Oh, but we you, can't. Oh, but you guys can't see it. Jesus fucking Christ. I'll, I'll, I'll bring up the, the... Oh, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just bring up the, the stream on my phone. All right. I mean, I could do a screen share, too. Let's try it this way. I think I could do both. Give me a second. Okay, you guys are looking at it that way, and then the stream mm -hmm. is looking at it a different way is how it should be working. Cool. Let's see here. Um, People are into yeah, it. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Kick ass. All right, cool. All righty. So let's uh, talk about it. Okay, so this is Crooked Oars with a good tattoo. Very good. Uh, Very cool. Bowser Pretty tattoo. awesome. I like this next tattoo. Uh, Travis Moore never missed from Direct Explanation. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really funny. I love that it's I like just that. It, it's just type, um, and so yeah. yeah, okay, it's still working. Cool. Um, Doctor Luke did this very insane Photoshop thing. Those are hot dogs on my face, I guess. Did you say so, mm -hmm. it's uh, that's scary. Oh, they're still looking at the Bowser tattoo. Oh, I know why. Okay, I got that. Boop. Okay, here's the next one. We're back at the Travis Moore tattoo. Because I have All to right. switch two different things since we're both looking at it different ways. So there's Travis Moore Never Missed from Direct Explanation. Here we have Dr. Luke with this uh, weird hot dog face of me. That's gross. It is really gross. Crazy. Yeah, it's. I don't like it. You look like... Uh, but I mean, the, you did a good job. <laughs> I love you how they like... left your teeth. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. You look like the main bad guy from the movie Little Monsters. Oh man, uh, I, I don't the think the character I've ever seen boy that. that they with, boy. Have, you've never seen that? No. Howie Mandel. Fred I know. Savage? I know about it. I just haven't seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a long time. Okay, so I did watch it though. Zach, somebody made you this bumper sticker from the time you and I streamed. I don't get it. Because you uh, thought you shit your pants and they were no, I didn't. To... Oh. <laughs> oh, we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wipe with pants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Wait, these... Wait, what was the wipe with pants reference, though? Well, I think I was joking that if I did shit my pants, I should just, like, use my pants to wipe my ass and throw it in the washing yeah. machine? I can't remember. Something like that. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I, I shit my pants in my adult life, and it was when I was going into a Target, and I just went into the bathroom and threw out my underpants and bought some new ones. Where'd you throw the underpants out? Like you left them in the changing room? In the bathroom. In the trash, in, in the in bathroom. In the trash can? Yeah. I handled it. It happens, and sometimes you gotta handle it. <laughs> you know, Isaac, you know, sometimes you gotta just, you know, stick your hand in your pants and smell your fingers, see what hey, happens. Hey, you gotta do recon. You gotta know if you shit your pants. You know what, if I mean, if I was- What, am I just gonna wonder? Yeah, absolutely, man. I, I, I agree with you. You gotta, you gotta check it out. You have to look. You have to yeah, find man. out. Um, okay. You know, a lot of people like walk around and they're proud of the fact that they didn't shit their pants, and so they're kind of shaming everyone who does shit their pants. But if you're not shitting, shitting your pants, you're not living. Well, that's the thing is like, if you've never shit your pants as an adult, that means you're living pretty sheltered life. It's like, yeah, because you gotta. If, if you're shitting your pants as an adult, it means you're getting pretty extreme sometimes. Whether, I've never shit my pants as an adult. But you, well. But you think you, you might almost have. did? You almost yeah, did. Yeah, I thought I thought there was a chance that I did, but I didn't. <laughs> All it right, happens. it does. It's okay. Hey, we're gonna move on now. These next series is very impressive. This is a uh, lonely cartoonist did a comic book about. All uh, right, it's involving several of our time travel sketches. I think so. I'm gonna show you guys that. Chad is looking at it now. Look at this. So, uh, so it's the time travel guys, but then there's like Charlie Chaplin as Hitler. Uh huh. And, and there's RC Glow. RC Glow. Oh yeah, yeah, look at that. So we'll go to the next the page. The incandescence oh. beverage. Uh huh. And then there, there's like six pages of this. So then this one, it's you guys chasing Charlie Chaplin, Hitler. And I don't know what happens at the end there. Oh, Sam falls off the roof, maybe. I don't know. Um. Oh, that's jump a great... off the roof to get him. Yeah, okay, you're jumping cool. off to get him. Okay, that's a great action shot. And then there's some unfinished pencil stuff there. Where you're fighting him. We beat the shit out of Charlie Chaplin. Uh -huh. And then there's this one. Uh, more cool fight scenes. Trevor hits him in the mouth of the crowbar. Jesus. I think it, is that a golf club? I think it might oh, be a golf Maybe it's a golf club. club. Yeah, no, you're probably right. No, it's his right. cane. It's his cane. Oh, it's a Charlie Chaplin cane. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's legendary right, right. cane. All right, here we go. 
Uh, next page is... So, yeah, there's just more beating the shit out of him. And then they high-five. And then is that the... Is that a time travel hole opening up? Is that what I think is? so. Nope. That's a, that's an anus. That's, that's what I was a, thinking. This is a seven spell. One, button. two, three. Yeah. Uh, that's more than seven, I think. Right? It's a lot. Yeah. It's, it's like nine or eleven. Uh, and then there's this last shot, which... And who is that guy? Is that Darren as an anarchy sketch or something? Oh, it's Darren oh, yeah. the time travel sketch. The time oh. travel sketch. Oh. Oh. Uh... I mean, he's got the time travel machine from me and my buddy. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the farm one? No. Yeah, time travel farmer. Yeah, yeah, farm. time travel farmer. Okay. Or, yeah, 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 that one, yeah. Sorry. And then someone said, uh, there's one where I, I always forget that sketch, the one where I make a time machine chair, and so they're like, they're going to continue the story and try and incorporate all the time travel stuff that we've done. So it's kind of cool. But Lonely the Cartoonist. That's really good. Yeah, dude, that's amazing. So very good job. Uh, so here's an interesting one. So Marco Cardin is uh, he's he's been a fan. He's been in Hortown for a while. He uh, just became a lawyer, and they made this little frame thing for getting huh. pictures taken with a graduate. He put Trevor on there, so you can see that. So this boy, these kids, you know. Yeah, very cool. Also, congratulations. Yeah, man, excellent work. That's that's some hard stuff to to do. And it says doctor. So is he also a doctor? Like when you can you get a doctorate in being a lawyer? I don't know how it works, honestly. Anybody know? Doctor Lawyer. That's cool. I don't. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, very, very good work, buddy. Also, System of a Down is on there. Sweet. So, okay. Uh, so, Marshallton did these. This is from when Zach and I streamed. So, they did this quick little sketch of us. And it says, Death on Your Shirt. And then they did this one. Cool. For Trailer Boys. Red. Yes. And what else we got here? Marshallton, good work. Okay, Super Baked Beads got this tattoo, which I love it because he's also wearing Trevor's hat. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And very good. Okay, this is interesting. So do you think, yep, do you think if you have that tattoo, there's a moment where you see a horse and you're like, maybe, and you roll up your sleeve and show it, and then like it doesn't come, and you're like, man, TV oh, it's worth a shot. TV is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then there's just one more pretty interesting one. So this is uh, so Theosis. This is on Reddit. They made a they made a feature film, and they have this like as a quick shot in their feature film. It's like an Easter egg to Trevor. And oh, really? So, oh, yeah. cool. If you zoom in, you see he's got the shirt and the hat. He's got white claw. He's got uh, water balloon. mouthwash, water, water balloons, balloons yeah. a guitar. There's a dinosaur head down there. Oh, I love that. So, That's awesome. Isn't that cool? It's yeah. actually uh, that kind of uh, hit me in the feels a little bit when I first saw it. It's just a very cool I, thing, you know? <laughs> I was looking at that, and I was like, what's next to the mouthwash that has a straw coming out of it? And then I realized it's just the, a piece of the, the Oh, power the lines in the background. The power yeah, <laughs> It looks like a straw. And as we know, Trevor loved to drink plants. So there's a plant yeah. there with a straw for his plant drink. Um, that is it. So good job, cool. everybody. Cool. And I'll put that away. Cool. All right, and, guys. Well, this was a good one. Up. Zach, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, we're catching up. Zach, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I, I appreciate it. Thank you, Timmy. Um, guys, I'm sorry about nothing. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, when I'm will sorry we? I was I didn't do talking it. too much. <laughs> <Didn't do> um, <laughs> all right, guys. Cool. I'll see y'all later. Wasn't me. All right. See all you right, later. later Thanks, everybody. Bye, Hortown. Thanks, you dudes. All right. See you guys in yeah. a couple Have weeks. Have a good night. Right. Yeah. Good uh, see you later. Tomorrow night, we have uh, Trailer Boys uh, Tournament of Champions, right? Right? We're doing the tur tur tournament tomorrow? Yeah, the, the top 10 players from season two go head to head and we vote on who's best in a playoff style bracket kind of thing. It's a really fun time and we're doing that tomorrow at that six. That sounds fun. Oh, Donos, Damn, we'll check I'm the Donos one you. last time. Yes, Donos, thank you. Darren, Damn, you're I'm not allowed to come and see me. I, I realized that I talked to you and I said, hey, maybe I'll buy flights out there. And then I just went and did it. 
and then I texted you that I bought my flights and I'm gonna be there. And you're probably like, whoa. So are are you really like that or? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not really like that. I'd love to see you, Darren. So uh, okay. here here's some donations. We got uh, Adventures of Interest donated fifty dollars. Been watching most of the time. Y'all have been streaming and finally able to chip in or crisp in for Darren. <laughs> Good joke. Love y'all, to Mars and back. Thank you, Adventures. That's awesome. Fifty bucks. Uh, doc- Thank you, Adventures. Doctor Butthop donated one three three seven, which I believe means leet, right? And says, did you know that Doctor Seuss was cheating on his wife while she had cancer, and when she died, he married the girl he was fucking? I I, I think I did know that. Did you guys know that? Mm-mm. Fucking asshole. Dr. Soyce. All righty. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the donations. And thank you to everybody subscribing. There's tons and tons of you. I didn't get to you, to you guys, but we will uh, we'll make up for that. So, uh, Sam, who should we raid? Uh, who should we raid? Who should we raid? We got uh, raid somebody fun. Well, let me, let me see. We got some of our people I gotta here. Go. Bye, bye, Darren. See, see you, Darren. Love you. Do, do, do.